Our planet marks a milestone Saturday, June 20, with a summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. North of the equator, the summer solstice marks the beginning of astronomical summer, which lasts until the autumnal equinox in September. South of equator, the solstice marks the beginning of winter. The solstice occurs at 5.44 p.m. EDT, which is when the sun reaches its northernmost point over the hemisphere. The Earth is tilted on its axis at an angle of 23.5 degrees with respect to the sun. As our planet circles the sun, the tilt means the angle of the sun's rays and the length of day changes over time. Saturday will be the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. For example, it will be 15 hours, 16 minutes, and 34 seconds long, which is 2 seconds longer than the day before and 1 second longer than the day after. Beginning Sunday, our days will be getting shorter. The change will be slow at first, then accelerate as summer continues. For example, the last day of June will be 36 seconds shorter than the day before. By the end of July, we'll be losing more than two minutes of daylight per day. June 20 may be the longest day of the year in West Michigan, but that doesn't mean it's our warmest. On average, the warmest days in our area occur in mid to late July. That's because the heating of the planet accumulates over time. So average temperatures actually lag the solstice in both summer and winter by about a month. The coldest average temperatures in West Michigan occur in mid to late January, about a month after the winter solstice.